The Washington State Cougars are getting ready for a home game against Stanford, but they don't know what the future of their program looks like beyond Sunday. Head coach Nick Rolovich has said he would follow the governor's mandate that goes into effect Monday for state employees, but he's applied for an exemption that may not be enough to keep him at Washington State. Our Keith Ozo is here with what to expect come Monday. Yeah, there's been a massive side story. The 2021 Washington State football program in their season is the last eight weeks, multiple times per week. Head coach Nick Rolovich has been asked about how he intends to follow the governor's mandate for vaccinations. And for eight mo weeks, multiple times per week, he's had the same response. I plan on following his, his mandate. I'm just going to follow his mandate. I'm going to follow the mandate. I'm going to follow the mandate. I'm going to follow the mandate. Follow his mandate. His mandate. As much fun as all of that was, we now know Nick Rolovich has filed for a religious exemption, which also means we know the roadmap for Rolovich remaining the head coach or if actions would be taken. There are only two possibilities. One, his religious exemption is denied. If that happens and Rolovich isn't vaccinated by Monday, Nick Rolovich will be out at Washington State. Throwing an interception! If the exemption is approved, which we can expect to happen judging by the numbers across the state, it's still not over. HR at WSU, along with his supervisor, in this case, Pat Chun, will be informed and it'll be up to Chun to make the decision if Rolovich can effectively do all aspects of his job while still keeping the public safe. If the answer is yes, Rolovich is still the head coach. Touchdown Cougars! If the answer is no, Chun and his bosses will need to decide if there are accommodations that are acceptable to the university that will allow him to remain the head coach. If there are, he stays. If there are not, Rolovich would be out. Even with all this being said, if Rolovich doesn't meet the mandate's criteria and he's removed as Cougar football coach, we still don't know if there's going to be an appeal process. We could certainly expect a legal move by Rolovich, and we don't know how the team will react. Players, we have no issue with Coach Rolovich. We have no issue with any of our coaches. You know, we respect their decisions. We could speculate for days what the fallout from Monday will be, but what we do know, we're going to learn something new, because this has never happened before at the major college level. Just a reminder, all religious exemptions at Washington State evaluated in a blind fashion without Rolovich's name on it, but the accommodations are not. Now, when asked yesterday if he'd been given a timetable for his exemption status, Rolovich simply said he had not.